Great achievement landing the GSMA here. Uh, it struck me when I was walking in the door. Uh, I thought I was walking into Barcelona again. And it actually, it's, it's, it's great to see the Mobile World Congress, or at least a portion of it, come to Dublin. And uh, how did you just land this? Well, first, I'd say, talking about walking into Barcelona, it, it is a mini um, GSMA Barcelona. How do we land it? We landed, of course, with some very good people, and the opportunity came up. And uh, we thought Dublin is the ideal location, the hospitality, and especially the convention centre. The convention centre area is absolutely styled for it. And you can talk to all the people here today, and they all feel very comfortable. The facilities, the hospitality Dublin, my own team in Annam, they were here Saturday, Sunday, getting ready for it. And when everybody walked in, they knew where to go. You can see all the signage we have around here. Absolutely, I'm proud to be the CEO of Annam to host such a occasion. Absolutely delighted and uh, delighted that you're here to see what we're doing because uh, we think we're bringing something to the country worth over three million for the weekend alone. We have 142 countries represented here, 1,200 delegates, over 300 countries and my friend here talked about the number of meetings that's taken place. This is unbelievable. There's billions exchanged here over the weekend. All the Roman countries, they all do their deals. We, we are the facilitator. We've given the privilege. And then, of course, tonight is our big gala night. We have taken the Guinness Storehouse, another touch of Irish, and most visited place. So I'm very, very proud and very happy. And then we got the weather. We got Everything the weather. going good yeah, for yeah. us so far. And very, uh, Brian, sorry, I would ask you about the trends you're seeing here. The, uh, they're all, all the operators here are responsible for half the world's mobile traffic. What? Which is a phenomenal feat when you think about it. So half half the mobile subscribers in the world are represented at this show. Mm. Um, you know, we have every continent in the world covered, and but primarily around wholesale. So it's about operators buying uh, roaming agreements from each other. So mm. you know, there is a very serious business side to it. We believe there's about 16,000 meetings will happen this week. A lot of roaming agreements will be signed. So there is hard business done, uh, and it's got a very commercial element to it. Very good. And uh, Noel, Annam, uh, I mean, you've you worked in the Middle East with companies like Kent's and you built them up. Um, you came back out of retirement to work on Annam. And, and can you tell me about what, what Annam's global opportunity is? Uh, well, I came back uh, retired and uh, then I see a lot of companies uh, struggling to get started and uh, formed uh, our own family investment company called Kelly San. And we invested in startup companies and I liked Annam. I liked what they were doing. I liked the people and all they needed was a chance. So I got involved, uh, was on as the chairman, and then met people like Brian, recruited him from O2, and we always recruited. It actually started out where, where uh, I was in O2. I was the commercial director for the innovation section. I looked at the whole a to p space, which is where we are. Uh, Anam was the, the vendor, I was the customer. We put in the solution, we had huge success, we generated a lot of money. And, uh, and then I started to look at the whole A2P space in a different light. I saw it as something that was very uh, interesting from a revenue perspective. Operators globally have that opportunity. Uh, we have a solution rolled out now with 60 operators around the world, ranging from South America all the way to Papua New Guinea and everything in between. Uh, we have, I, I was in Asia all last uh, month. We have an office down there in Kuala Lumpur. It's growing up, we're expanding the team. Uh, we're an enterprise Ireland client company, so that's huge support in terms of globally trying to expand our business. Mm -hmm. um, so the, 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 the company has definitely got into something very interesting. Uh, like everything, it's hard, but, but we, are, we are growing very steadily, uh, which is a good thing. And what's the growth like for the next few years looking like for you guys? I mean, um, the opportunities, uh, the expansion plans. Could tell us a bit about what the future looks like for you guys. So, um, uh, um, at later this month, we're actually moving into a new global headquarters here in Dublin, and down at the IFSC Centre. Uh, as I say, we've got an office in KL. We will double our revenues this year. We're adding uh, to staff on a monthly basis in terms of taking on new people. Um, so, so there's a lot of growth forecasted, a lot of growth actually happening, but obviously planned as well. It's a global business, Anim is addressing on the A to B and for people think that text messaging is dying. That's the person to person, the P to P. We're in the thing that's grown like a hockey stick, it's called A to P. We reckon there's seven billion worth of business out there and that's what we're chasing. And uh, from my own personal experience of working internationally, I think I set up Kent in some like 47 countries. We hope to do the same. And that's why we're moving rapidly into the international market and especially Asia, because it's where the numbers is. Like you're looking at companies here in Dublin, 1.4 maybe million subscribers. Uh, Digital alone, 13 million subscribers. Maxis, which have just signed a contract with down below in Malaysia, 
we network 13 million subscribers. Vietnam, where we're going next week, 127 million subscribers. And in our business, we say that we can bring a dollar, which you might sound small, a dollar like per a million, subscriber yeah. per annum. So if you have 100 million subscribers and we add one dollar to your subscriber base every year, and we take the risk. Enjoy this video? Click here for more news from siliconrepublic.com or follow us on social media.